Hello everyone and welcome here on the first day of our code mess. I thought we should create a Christmas challenge aka code mess that will take place from today until Christmas Eve. I know it's December 7th already but I think it will be still beneficial for me and for you as well to practice Flutter every day until Christmas. I'm planning to create Christmas themed apps so it will be a lot of fun. I am sure about that. I'm gonna make this um, series to be less edited. I don't want to spend a lot of time because I have a day job and I have other videos to edit. For example, the third part of my Instagram tutorial series, which is on the way. I, um, I'm currently in the editing process, so it will be available soon in my channel. So if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now. So without further ado, let's start the first project of our code mess, which will be for warm up i plan to create a christmas postcard app basically we will um, practice layouts and how to how to manage images we will have six images that i have downloaded of course i will upload everything to a github repository as usual so you will find all those six images in that repository and the code for the app as well i'm planning to make this app look like the following okay so i don't want it to be boring therefore i don't draw a middle line here because in my opinion that would be <laughs> not so exciting I um, put columns with different sizes and in this way I think it will be more exciting and more good looking so let's look at those six images that I download it first of all here's this christmas tree i think this christmas tree it's one that png so this christmas tree could come here because this um, section is pretty tall okay the next one pn uh, two that png okay it's a christmas box um like it should come to this top left corner okay next one is this um, kind of abstract um, thing because it's not really important it's just a design thing so we should place it to the left side okay for the png is oh it's very nice and uh, this picture is very interesting in my opinion so i will place it to this um, bigger section on the on the bottom left corner okay and the fifth with those packages will go to the upper right corner and the last one that i i save it to the center in purpose because it says merry christmas um, in my opinion, this is the message of this postcard, so it should go to the center.
Okay, so we have the, the design. Without further ado, we should start to code. Okay, I started this application with creating a new Flutter project. I am using Visual Studio Code right now with iPhone Simulator. Um, yeah, so what I did already, so I created a new folder inside this project called Assets and right now I will paste those six images into the Assets folder. Um, so you should do the same. As I said, you will find all the images on my GitHub. Okay, and I also did what I did. Yes, popsec, 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 popsec. I place this section into my popsec file. It will make sure that um, we can load the images inside the main.dart file. Okay, I'm using an empty do nothing application. To be honest with you guys, I just copied this whole thing, um, except this row but and column, yes. But I copied this whole um, do nothing application from my Instagram starter kit. So I am usually using the same basic do nothing application to start with. So this is what I did right now as well. Um, Okay, so let's start to plan the layout. Um, okay, I just show you here. So as you can see, we have uh, three rows under each other. So first of all, we will need a column to place those three rows for sure. Okay, this is what I did in the body part of the scaffold widget. So I placed a column here and the first children will be a row. Um, this row, as you can see, needs to contain the, the um, second and fifth images. So how can we import images? So let's write image widget dot asset because we will load this from the asset folder. So assets, so sorry, assets slash, what did I say to that PNG? Yes, because we need the second and the fifth images. So as I said, we need five dot PNG as well. We have to fix the width. As you can see, in the first row, I draw equal width for those two sections. And that equal width is exactly the half of the width of the whole screen. So how can we know the width of the whole screen? So I'm just searching for uh, yeah, flutter screen size, Stack Overflow is my very good friend. So here we go, double with media query. Oh, but I know that I don't like this one. So yeah, I like to use this one particularly. And now I remember that I usually using this one. So. In my opinion, it's not important, not that important to be able to know everything by heart. But coding is like a little bit like experimenting. So I'm trying out something and if it's not working, I am trying out something else. So coding is like solving problems constantly and in my opinion it's not that important to know everything by heart so if you are a beginner and feel like you don't know anything um, don't be afraid like nobody knows everything okay we are ready with the row as you can see here 
in the second row we want the third and sixth image but the um, the width of the sixth one and the third one of course is not the half of the screen so maybe we can do this like one third and two third well, let's write it here it's two third and it's one third okay let's write it here like the half Okay, and now we can talk about the third row as well. So that could be um, the same, but um, vice versa, or or that could be a little bit more extreme, like um, I don't know, like the fifth is pretty great number so let's make it two fifth and for three fifth all right so I'm creating another row with with what with what with three dot png and six dot png and three will be the one third of the width of the screen and the six will be the two third of the screen. So two multiple width divide with three. Okay, and another row for the third row that will be fifth three multiply the width and four dot png one dot png and it's two and it will be five okay let's save it up now i am really interested in how it looks like I'm sorry, try again. Let's try it again. Do you remember that media query thing that I didn't want to use? And instead of that, I used this window that physical size. Um, it turned out that this uh, media query would be a better option to use. So I tried to use this media query but I got an error. So I searched for that error and I found that I need to put this into a separate class because in the material app uh, there should be only a class and inside that class I can use this uh, media query because um, there isn't any context. So we need to make a different class with the name of postcard and then we can use the width and the height very easily so i wrote um, the width variable and the height variable to the width and height property of the image and i use the fit property as well but i just show you how it looks like without this fit So there we go, um, it's not out of the screen, which is good, but it's not so pretty either. Um, I use this fit to box with that fit height for those images that has to be tall. Like for example, as you may remember, this um, image, the first one, the one that PNG, the Christmas tree, has to be tall 
while the champagne picture has to be wider. And therefore, I used box with that fit height for the Christmas tree and box with that fit width to the champagne image. Okay, let's see the middle row. Um, here, the left side picture has to be taller and the right side picture has to be wider. Therefore, we can do the same but um, reversed. And in the top row, we have to make sure those images fit the height. And basically, that's all. <laughs> we solved this um, postcard app thing. So the second attempt was um, much more much more successful than the first attempt. We should further style this postcard by adding paddings to each images. Um, I think uh, four pixels padding in each side of an image would look nice but um, because of that four pixels on each side, we have to subtract eight pixels from the width and from the height as well. Let's do the same padding for all of the images. In my opinion, it looks much better than the previous version of this postcard app. I have another idea what we should do with this app to look better we should place a text on this postcard for example like Merry Christmas to someone and we should make this more customizable um, for this I created a stack around our column and I use a stack because I will use a positioned widget and inside this position widget, the child will be the text that says Merry Christmas, Bob. And the position widget's bottom and right property um, will be 100. But for now, I'm, I'm just, just trying this out. So let's see how it will look like. Okay, we should style this text. I'm using um, this red accent font color. Then I set the font weight to bold to make it more readable and the font size to 30. And after that, um, I think we should use the height and width of variables to position this widget. So I position it to um, height um, divided by 3 from the bottom and width divided by 5 from the right side of the screen. And as the final touch, we should set its background color to white. The font family is not perfect, but in my opinion, it looks pretty. Thank you for coding with me on the first day of our Codemas. I am pretty excited how this whole Codemas will turn out. So if you are to want to practice Flutter for like 18 days, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next episode is available.